Hey guys and welcome to my channel. On one, No Noise AI 2021 is not the best noise reduction software for JPEG and TIFF. You want proof? You have your answer. There you go. I'm going to get into the details and I'm going to compare it side by side with a photo I have reducted noise from an actual raw file. And this photo, in this, what you're looking at right now, it's a TIFF that I have converted with Photoshop. So that means that the Team Mosaic engine is pretty good, I believe. And of course, uh, the quality and information is everything there. So this is a very important tutorial and you should know this kind of defects before you want to buy this software because most of the time you are probably not going to work on raw you're probably going to work on jpeg and tiff2 especially when you're using it as a plugin in photoshop and affinity photo it is important to note that you will be not working on raw you'll be working on psd file or 16-bit tiff and this is where the difference comes in play and before I show you the comparison side by side, please do like and subscribe my channel. It helps me a lot so that I can pay off my mortgages. Now, let's jump into the tutorial. Now, lucky for you, I already made an export. And in my previous video, I already showed you the result from the raw comparison. So this video, I'm going to show you the comparison done in TIFF. So I'm going to close it. And now I'm opening Silky Bigs Developer Studio Pro to use its function to compare side by side. Now, before I compare side by side, I'm going to show you the actual result. So I'm going to close all the windows so that you have extra room. You have two photo. One is the actual row which is i'm going to show you and zoom in about 100 percent so that you can see the mess so there you go let me go into 100 percent and then there you go you can actually see the mess there this is pretty messy um, image and same with the tiff the important reason why you should look at the tiff too of course because you know there i want to make it clear that there is no bias now here are all my results. So I'm going to close this window too. So you have the original but TIFF. Then you have an image which I did noise reduction in on one no noise AI from the TIFF to the TIFF. And this is a screenshot side by side. And this one, the last one, is done noise reduction on a raw file to TIFF. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to open this photo in a big screen. Open the side screen so that you both you have all the same photos. Now I'm going to go to the last one. And now you have two images side by side. Now to be clear, this one on your left hand side, that's a noise reduction done from raw. And on your right hand side, the noise reduction done from TIFF. So is it gonna change anything? Let's find out in three, two, one, and you have your answer. Clearly, the noise reduction done from the TIFF, from the raw, my apologies, has way better detail than the one done from TIFF. Let's show you the edges, you know, of course the important part. So keep an eye on, three different elements shadow or the dark area or blur area the edge and the drops now shadow area looks pretty awesome so both of them has a similar type of result if you look at the edges of the leaf the one from the teeth on the right does not have any details at all it rather look a little bit blurred the water drops that's another example a good one for that matter has extremely awesome detail and sharpness on the left hand side from the one done from the raw 
where the TIFF converse, conversion has no detail at all. Another important element is the green. So look at the green surface. So the one on the right hand side that's done from the TIFF, the noise reduction, it looks just awful, really awful. And I'm zooming it for 100% for two reasons. Of course, that's the ideal thing to do. And I'm imagining that you are looking at from your phone or from a tab, even this laptop screen, and none of them has you know better resolution. Let me explain why. Because YouTube is going to compress the video even more. I'm recording this video at the highest resolution possible. But YouTube is going to compress it even more. So it's my responsibility to zoom in at as much as I can so that you can understand exactly what's going on. In fact, I'm going to zoom in about 200% so that you can get even extremely better idea. But it, let's face it, in real life, no one looks at the photo at 200%. That just doesn't happen. So this is just because I'm imagining that you will be looking at computer screen and internet compresses everything photo and video anyway now you have even extreme look now you can easily can say that the one on the right hand side looks a lot blurred lack of detail where even at 200 percent the water drop on the left hand side has better detail and the one on the left hand side is the one done directly from a row where one on the right hand side is noise reduction done from a converted TIFF. I mean, bottom line is on one no noise AI is a fantastic new software, works perfectly for raw where it doesn't do a good job for TIFF or JPEG. So it's a very important information if you're willing to use that software as a plugin. Because plugin, usually, typically, you don't use the raw. It converts in PSD, TIFF, or JPEG. JPEG is rare, but most likely TIFF or PSD. So that's my verdict. And the next video coming up, which I'm going to compare the exact same result with the topaz. So you'll be watching a video side by side. Same photo, TIFF, noise selected in on one no noise AI, which is the right hand side here. And I'll be using exact same photo in topaz denoise AI to show you exactly which one gives a better result. So stay tuned, please subscribe, and I see you in the very next video. Bye-bye.